viti na carpet lakini usifanyie kwangu kuna maybe mahali penye ume ndango unazipeleka na ukifanya clean alafu narudisha yeah kuna mahali okay. alafu hapo sasa unajua tena kidogo pande ya mshahara itakuwa juu Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, can just subscribe, like, share and comment. So, on this episode of Entrepreneurship, uh, we are going to talk with Isaac Kiru. Uh, he is a cleaner. Okay, talking about cleaning, he does it alone, like uh, just any other company, like this uh, cleaning companies. But as for him, he does it alone and he really does a good work. So, we are going to have a conversation with him. Uh, atueleze biashara iko aje and uh, yeah so if you're interested you, you can DM him and uh, or even call him I'll put his number on the description box that's it so let's get into the video hi hi too how are you fine thank you okay so kama jina kama Isaac Okiro Isaac Okiro yes so Isaac Okiro Okay. Uh, kazi yako ni nyana mahali ndio ndio kakuita ndio so unaweza kwenda kusambia ni kazi gani unafanya na kwa nini kwa sababu gani baba okay kwanza kabisa ningeweza kujibu hiyo swali yako hii kazi nime, nime ndo nipatikane hapo nimepitia changamoto mimi naweza nikisema mimi si msomi so kufuatana na ile life nimeona ikabidi tu mpaka pia nami nijifunze kujitafutia yangu. Okay. Yes. Na umefanya kazi kwa muda gani sasa? Kwa sasa ni 4 years. 4 years. Yes. Na inakupeleka jiko sawa? Ah, kazi si mbaya iko sawa ila changamoto kidogo kidogo. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So, mm. uh, mtu anataka kuku anataka kukuita au kufanya kazi nini unachokifanya wewe mwenyewe kama ukienda kwa hizo nyumba kufanya kini una clean kwanza ukuta uh, viombo ama ni viti tu na carpet yeah it depend ni kazi gani atananitia cause ukienda kama carpet nafanya mm -hmm. seat nafanya yani yani sofa set mm -hmm. nafanya kuja kwa nyumba hapo pia hiyo usafi ya wall mm -hmm. hadi viombo mm -hmm. nafanya pamoja na mattresses kuosha Yeah. So una 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 chargeaje? <coughs> Tutaanza tukisema kwa one city ni 900. Sasa unafanya kazi peke yako ama uko na watu wengine unafanya na wao? Kwa sasa hii naweza sema niko peke yangu ila niko na we, na wenzangu. Uh -huh. But kidogo hali imerudi chini. Uh -huh. So hakuna vile ningeweza kutembea na wao ama niweze kuwaita uh -huh. na kazi iko chini. Okay. Yeah, but kazi ikitokea ikiwa sawa wana wa na watafuta. Okay, kuna mtu ambaye anaenda kuwatch hivi lakini yeah. uh, lazima aone kazi ni umefanya yes. na kuite pia uwasaidie. Ndio. Yeah. Uh, kuna mali maybe kwenye wewe unaweka ama wewe tu umetuanga kazi maybe kama ni mimi nimekuita na na ku recommend kwa rafiki yangu. No, huwa kuna mali naweka video zangu uh -huh. pamoja na pictures. Uh -huh. So huwa na post hapo YouTube. Mm. Okay. Yes. So na mchangamoto gani unaopitia ukakati unafanya kazi kama hii? Changamoto ni moja. Kuna hii stains, sometimes the client anaweza kupatia either kiti mm -hmm. ama mattress yake ama carpet. Mm -hmm. Na katika hiyo hiyo kiti au mattress mm -hmm. iko na stain. Na hiyo stain si ile ya kutoka. Mm -hmm. Cuz hiyo stains zote za kutoka. Unaweza pata kama kalamu hii maki ya kalamu haitoka ngivo. Ni lazima usugue usugue hapo na hapo na hiyo kwenyewe 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 na hiyo ndo kwaribu. Utajikuta kama ni kiti, hiyo uzi yake inainuka. Inamaanisha kuwa unaiharibu. So hiyo ni challenge ya kwanza. Ukijaribu kueleza client anakuambia oh hii product yako si nzuri, sijui nini unaona na ili hali ni your stains. Yeah. Okay. Na unatumia product ni products niko nayo shambu mm -hmm. na kuna ile ya stain remover mm -hmm. yes okay na hii kazi yako unaona kama iko na profit yeah kuna profit mzuri yes 
Okay, na maybe if kitu unazapenda kukwa like kwa own company, yako na just say kuna company mingi yes. na kufanya kinyi mingi. So maybe if kitu unazapenda kukwa na yako. Yeah. Binafi. Kwanza hata nimeplania, tuseme in the next two years, mm-hmm. three years yenye inakuja, mm-hmm. hapo nikithani indakuwa mbele. Nimeplania sana nifungue kambuni yangu. Pia na mi niandike watu ama niandike wenzangu kufata na vile pia na mi nikuwa ni maandikwa. Pia na walani kutoka hapo. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kuna mali kumi unenda kazi. Sia hini kama yes. part time job. Kwambia po awali kazi nimefanya for four years. Mm-hmm. Na hiyo four years said nimekuwa nikifanya tu station moja. Mm-hmm. Tumekuwa tukitembea kuenda hizo ma one off kwa client kumuoshia nyumba. So katika ya rakati hiyo mkubu wako mwenye umeenda na hiyo kufata na hiyo quotation na na court. Pia na hiyo nakupatia morali. Yes. Anu natamani ya iwe ni wewe yani. Chini okay. semevo ya. Yeah. So, unajua kuosha viombo, uh, kuosha nyumba, ziko na bei yake tofauti. Yeah. So, mtu anaweza kwa kuona viombo, akona nyumba na sisi kuosha kuna viti, kuna nini. So, wewe wewe una charge aje in general, now not specifically for the seat and uh, the carpet. In general, pamoja na kiti. Iyo, ita depend tena ni nyumba na tosha naje. Oh, yes. Mm. So, so hizi nika kuambia exactly at hivi na, na kumbe nyumba ni one bedroom, mm. two bedroom. Mm. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Kwa inakuwa once umeniita kwako, mm-hmm. umenionyesha kazi yangu ni hii, mm. nilitaku unifanyia hii mpaka hapo, ama hii na hii, mm-hmm. hivyo. Si ilikuwa tusha malizana mambo na kuongea bei. Mm-hmm. Kama ilikuwa tumuongea utanipa 5k, kwa hiyo kazi yako yote ni sawa. So after mimi kumaliza kazi yangu, uh-huh. ni hivyo tunamalizana. How will you receive? Kama maybe ni kwa maybe tuseme ni kwa mwiki. Mwiki itadivi. Hapo hivyo utanipa direction. Uh-huh. Kuja mwiki same fulani. Uh-huh. Au upanda gari za kuenda mal fulani fulani. Ushukishiwe mal fulani. Unawana? So arakati hapo hivyo ni kwambe ni meshuka. Uh-huh. Then uniambie ulizia building jina fulani taulizia mm-hmm. ndaangalia kwa map oh. yes okay na bado ninakunipa na kunipia transport transport ni mimi mwenyewe uh-huh. so itafika nikishafika hapo ndo nitakwambia alafu tena jina depend uh-huh. na ile umbali wa kazi uli, uli go under certain training ndio kakuja kujua kutumia hizo mashine za kuosha viti yes. na carpet yeah na uko na mali penye unajua kuna wale watu wanaweza kuambia uh, mimi nataka nishe viti na carpet lakini usifanyie kwangu kuna maybe mahali penye wewe unaenda unajipeleka na unajifanyia clinic alafu unarudisha yeah uh-huh. kuna mahali okay. alafu hapo sasa unajua tena uh-huh. kidogo pande mshahara itakuwa juu kwa sababu ya transport uh-huh. so sasa umeniambuko kino na hii mali napelekea kuna mali napelekea kufanya hizo shughuli uh-huh. ni mbali tena mali mimi naishi sasa unaona hiyo transport hapo tena kidogo client kujaribu kumweleza ni kama anaona unataka kumfinyilia uh-huh. yes uh-huh. okay nini na kufanya ngambako na feel so comfortable at home na uh-huh. ule wakati unaenda kufanya kazi kwa hizi majumba okay mimi mwenyewe ni msafi So ila rakati unaenda kwa mtu unakaa ukijua mwenyewe ni nani na umeenda hapo kufanya nini. Yes. So uweze ukaniambua ni mchafu na unaenda kufanya kazi nzuri. Yeah. You know? Yes. Na unajua issue ya kama sasa issue ya uwivi ina trend sana. Kuna okay kuna mahali uwivi unapatikana kwa mchana and um, Maybe umeshaenda kufanya hiyo kazi yako alafu ukapata maybe akimemaliza maybe kutojiwa ama kutokaliwa kuka maybe ama kukapozwa ama before uende ukafanyika kitu kama hiyo kuna sinaweza kama yeshe kufanyikia haijawahi pande wangu haijawahi yeah na how na sasa umefanya usafi unajua kuna watu wengi hapo na hizi wanapenda tu kufanya na nyumba yao na kwa kwa sababu ya kwamba kuna mtu amebia shape nyisa alafu umebia ukapasua kama sema ni craft yake moja sasa hapo ni una lipia ama hiyo mnaenda 
no ndo na it depend vile tuongea na utapata utapata client nzuri atakwambia is okay haina shida but mwingine ni lazima ulipie hata mimi mwenyewe nimefanyikia sign wiki wiki tatu imepita ilikuwa tu nika glass ndogo hivi nimeshika na mkono ilikuwa wet ikateleze kaanguka nimelipia juzi so ina depend na client huyo wa nyumba mwenye nyumba yes okay so hiyo unalipa wewe mwenyewe wewe mwenyewe unamlipa oh okay akati kwa mshahara akati kwa mshahara hiyo ni kando na mshahara yako na so kuna maybe mtu anataka kufanyia kazi ama office plan ama company plan kwa eh kuna hiyo type of contract ile wewe una sign ama tu wewe ni kupigiwa simu unaenda kufanya kazi unamaliza mwingine na kupigiwa simu unaenda unafanya kazi unamaliza ita depend umeniita kwa njia gani aidha unipatie contract ni sign ni sawa lakini kama hizi za siku in and off in and off one off ni sawa mm. tunafanya unafanya kazi yako ukiona imekuwa sawa unanilipa mimi tunawachana nayo okay so ndio yes. msimu nafanya in general ya usafi mm. kuna maybe specific kazi niweze fanya kwa nyumba sio ni kozi ukiingia kwa nyumba ni lazima utapata tutaanza na master bedroom mm-hmm. utapata master bedroom maybe inafaa itand, bed itandikwe mm-hmm. utoke master bedroom mm-hmm. umeke sure hapo kuko clean kila kitu mm-hmm. kuanzia kwa bed chini kuanzia juu bed chini hadi wardrobes mm-hmm. uingie washroom utoke washroom ukuje hivyo mm-hmm. uende kwa kwa room nyingine mm-hmm. so utoke kwa room nyingine kama ni one bedroom ama two bedroom uh-huh. ndio ujikute uko kitchen ukimalizia sitting na kutoka hivyo wow. yeah. kufua hapo siwezi nika siwezi fua wow. yeah nakuwa na mama kufua wow. yeah so ukiniambia ni sawa na mchukua hiyo kazi uh-huh. na nakwambia niko na mtu but sio mimi uh-huh. so unaweza pata kanda nasema ndaka wewe mwenyewe jua ameona kazi yako hapo kidogo ndo. Okay. So sasa sasa itende kwa equipment. Uko na enough machines za kufanya hiyo kazi. Machine yenye sahi sina ni ya scrubbing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But hizo zingine. Hizo zingine niko nazo. Okay. Na in terms of maintenance, wewe una ki maintenance? Kuna maybe kuna time unajua pia kuna machine zinahitaji service ni nini. So wewe una ki maintenance? So it depend na vile kazi imekuwa wewe ukaniambia hii nyumba yangu nimeweka after 2 month ndaka nifanyie general cleaning unaona mm. na kwa hiyo 2 month haujakanda ndani utafanya kweli hauwezi okay. so mashina pia iko hivyo maybe wiki yote umetoka kama mara moja na umeweka kwa mwezi unafanyia service after 2 month ama 1 month mm-hmm. so utajaribu ku kuibalance umetoka kwa kwa mwezi umetoka mara ngapi ama mashini umetumika muda gani Nona. Kama imekuwa ikitumika mfululizo hapo unaweza kufanya utafanyia repair kwa mwezi moja mm-hmm. But roughly ni 2 month. Hope you enjoyed our conversation and if you did kindly subscribe, like, share and comment till next time.